Hey guys, uh, got a little short video for you today, or kind of short. It's just channel shoutouts, and in the middle I've got a, uh, a mirror of uh, one of Schrodinger's cat's only ever audit videos where he goes postal. Uh, it's pretty funny. Uh, it's a remembrance video of Schrodinger's cat, and most of the people I'm going to be plugging are familiar with him and uh, learned some things from him, got help from him, and... Uh, Anyway, that's what's going on. Check it out. Thanks. I've got a short clip, a little mirror of uh, Schrodinger's cat video that I'm going to pop out there later. It's about two minutes long. It's funny. Uh, anyway, I'm going to go through uh, different people I watch and uh, promote a few channels here. Over here on the left of my screen, uh, you can see I've got uh, 90, about, about 100 channels that I watch. Some of them not very regularly, some of them I'm just sub to uh, from the early days. But let's go through a few of them. Uh, we'll go down the list. Not necessarily in the order that I watch them or like them, but uh, that's just the way the list is. Here we got Irish Demon. He's fairly new to me on the scene. Uh, well, let's check his channel out. He's pretty funny. He's from Ireland. He's, he's over here now, somewhere here in Texas, uh, down below me, about 140 miles. He's down in Dallas. I'm 140 miles north of him. I'm going to go over to his About page. And we can see he joined uh, December 1st, 2016. And he speaks like an Irishman, lads and lassies. and Yeah, he's a pretty good channel to check out. He's pretty funny. I like him. Now, Binary T001Z, he does animations mostly and he's been for the last week he's been uh, keeping up on Glenn Serio's court cases he's uh he's on top of that him and a, a girl named Tella Klein they both live up in the area so they get most of the uh information right off the presses that's pretty good if you don't know who binary is check him out he does a lot of animation stuff that's his main focus is animations uh a lot of people would channels have his animations on their channel and that's pretty much what he does and he's been around since October 3rd 2011 now let's see he's got just over a thousand subs he should be a lot bigger than that he, he does good stuff when he does videos they're pretty good uh, I like him then we got law talk with Mike I like Law Tower. I mean, he's funny as hell. He's got a lot of videos. He's an attorney from Chicago. Down to earth guy. He's always happy. The guy is never not happy. Anytime you see him, he's happy. He covers a lot of the court stuff, sovereign citizens, uh, First Amendment auditors. He's been around since June 11, 2008. So he's been here a while. Uh, where are we at? He's got about 24,000, almost 25,000 subscribers, well-earned. Here's a newer guy, uh, KFAR. Uh, I ran into him when he had about 394 subscribers, exactly, as a matter of fact. I promoted his channel a little bit, and uh, uh, now he's up to 33.62,000. And let's see, he's been here since... January 7th, 2013. He just recently, from what I can see, got into uh, Sovereign Citizens First Amendment Auditors. He used to do gaming videos, if I remember correctly. Maybe I'm mistaken about that. Yeah, he used to do a lot of gaming videos. He's pretty good to watch. Uh, he's a pretty down-to-earth, dry sense of humor kind of guy. And we got Blue Bacon. He's a private investigator. He does a lot of uh, First Amendment auditor videos. <laughs> Makes fun of people like the rest of us do. Uh, you probably know who he is. If you watch my channel, you know who he is. There he is. Uh, he did a thing on Tyrant Slayer. It was funny. It was funny. Tyrant Slayer turned around and did a video about this video saying how he whooped Blue Bacon's ass. And he was never on the panel. He was, he was in the chat uh, just running his mouth. Let's see, how long has Blue, been ba Blue Bacon been around? 
January 29, 2019. He's worth he's worth a follow. And with that being said, let's uh, throw in a mirror of uh, Schrodinger's cat's one and only uh, First Amendment audit he ever did. It was a complete failure. He really blew it. But anyways, here it is. Hey guys, what's going on? Good morning. I was uh, laying on the couch watching some show last night and I just automatically went to the computer to see if uh, Schrodinger's cat had gone live yet, uh, which he always used to do on Sunday nights 90% of the time. And then I realized he wasn't going to be live, so... You know, I found I found his favorite clip that I used to... I used to like more than uh, most of them. It's uh, when he went and did a post office audit. And this is going to be a mirror of his first and last audit that I've ever seen him do. I thought it was hysterical. Hope you enjoy. Hi guys, I'm at the Portsmouth, Virginia post office. Let's go in and see if they respect our right to a film. Closed. Dang it. And that right there is why he got to be so popular on uh, YouTube. Just his, uh, his take on things, his sense of humor. Uh, he was a helpful guy. Helped me beat a couple of copyright strikes. But the rest of us will just keep making the videos. Uh, a lot of them influenced by him, his style. Uh, he'll be with us forever uh, if we keep doing that. Just keep him in your heart. Bye. Uh, how many? He's got 14,000, getting close to 15,000 subs. Tones overthinks it. He's fairly new at this game. He's been around uh, since October 2017. I don't know what provoked him to start making these videos, just watching other videos, I think. But he is excellent. He's got an excellent way of speaking, uh, and much better at speaking than I am. He's very funny. Very funny without trying to be funny. He's very accurate. Uh, he's good. Check him out. Tones overthinks it. Uh, let me see. South Georgia Hotshot. That's just a trucking channel I watch. Van Balian. He's from the UK somewhere. I'm not even sure where, but he's one of the OGs in this uh, community. 64,000 subscribers. He's been around forever. He gets a lot of new videos that nobody's ever seen before. Uh, let's see, Sovereign Citizen Trespass, he does a lot of soft shit stuff, mostly. Uh, judge lays down the law with annoying Sovereign Citizen. I, I, I watch all his videos. Every once in a while, I'll, uh, I'll mirror one of his videos. He's been around since, let's see, 2017. So he's been around for a while. This channel monitors and provides commentary on Sovereign Citizen movement. Yeah, he's good. Check him out. Artie's Corporate Friction, he's an attorney, uh, he's been around a while, 8,007, that's all he's got, I thought he had more like 15,000, he's good to watch, he, he's funny to watch, he's a funny guy, I don't know why he hasn't gotten more, more subscribers yet, he'll get there, he joined in 2019, He's been making videos. He mostly does lives. I've never seen him actually do a video. He does live panels and stuff. Uh, reacting to Broken System, Broken Trust. Kiwi soft sits for a wild bunch. Being brief soft sit bingo with a new guru. He does that sort of thing. He's good. He's worth a follow. FTFE is a flat earth debunker. That's all he does is debunks flat earth people. He's got about, oh, getting close to 50,000 subscribers. And he does debates with flat earthers. He does it all the time. I don't know how he can stand it, but if you're into that, uh, he's pretty good to watch. He tears them apart. Debbie Davis says she's uh, the prosecutor in Judge Middleton's court. If you don't know who he is or who she is, uh, it's a trip if you watch Judge Middleton's court. She's got some eye rolls, and uh, she, she just has some funny expressions. She, she started a channel. She's already up to 4,200 subscribers. Uh, she has goats, uh, she's got, she talks about law, uh, the family, and uh, she's got a pretty eclectic channel. The goats are pretty cool, I like the goats. Uh, <laughs> she's even had a birthing of uh, some baby goats she just had on there, that was pretty interesting. 
and she's pretty good. Uh, the trigger limey, I just ran into him probably a couple weeks ago. He's good. He's funny. He's from, uh, I believe he's from England, if I'm not mistaken. He's up to 4,130 subscribers. He's been around since August of 2020. He is funny. If you like the English humor, he's funny. He's good. Uh, he's, he's well worth a follow. All these people are worth a follow. Uh, this is Dutch Doyle. He usually does a live once in a while. Uh, not really much going on to, over there. He's got a thousand subscribers. Uh, he's an ex-police officer in New York City. Tow Trucker. This is a good channel if, you, if you're into watching people work. Uh, this guy has a huge channel, 115,000 subscribers. Uh, he, he works for a tow company that goes to all these apartment complexes down in, the, down in Georgia in the Atlanta area and uh, shows the actual what goes on day to day towing vehicles that people don't want you to tow. It's pretty good. <clears throat> this Craigslist hunter, he's a, uh, he owns a shop and he sells stuff on eBay and uh, that's pretty, I find that pretty interesting. He's a pretty entertaining guy. He's from Poland or something originally. But yeah, that's a good one. The plot hole, because that's Johnny O. Everybody's heard of Johnny O that watches my channel knows who Johnny O is. He's funny. Uh, he's some kind of professional videographer or documentarian or something, li something like that. I'm not exactly sure. Uh, but he's funny to watch. He covers the, pretty much the same stuff that I do. Uh, he's been around since January 2020. The plot hole. Johnny O and Jeremy Fair, we all bring conversations to you. Anyway, he's another good one to follow. Of course, Radical. He was one of the first channels I ever watched when I started thinking about what am I going to do with my channel. And he is hilarious. He's from over across the pond. I think he's from, uh, uh, he's Welch, I think. I think I got that right. I'm not sure. Welch or Dana? I think he's Welch. I'm not sure, but he is hysterical. He's a funny guy. He's got a cow too. I do stuff and things, mostly things. <laughs> he's just he's just hysterical. He was one of my first people that I uh, I subbed to. He also subbed to my channel at some point. I saw him. He chimed in. He subbed to my channel. He's a trip. Good guy. Creaky Blinder. If you're into, he's into a lot of different things. Uh, he's funny. He is hilarious. Yet allegedly Dave thinks his own pee saved his life. Sovereign citizen gets arrested for trespassing. But yeah, he's worth checking out. Uh, Degeneration Nation, that's another one of the first guys I ever followed on here. Uh, he's been around for a while. He does a lot of soft sit stuff and uh, First Amendment auditors. Let's see, he's been here since 2016. He's been here a long time. He's one of the OGs. He's right up here with Ben Balian. Uh, but you can kind of see what he does. It's all, it's all uh, debunking the whole First Amendment fraud or deal. deal. Uh, facts of frauds. He does pretty much the same thing we all do. He's worth checking out. He's been around since January 2021. So he hasn't been around that long, but he's putting out some content, some pretty good content. He does a lot of the Karen videos, Sovereign Citizens, uh, a lot of sovereign citizen, mostly sovereign citizen stuff. Moore's, uh, a marble girl. She was uh, the moderator on uh, Schrodinger's Cat Channel. It's a marble girl, AMG. Everybody pretty much knows who she is. Natalie Lawyer Chick, Keeping It Criminal. <clears throat> He's been around a while. Uh, let's see. September 10th, 2009. Yeah, I started watching him. I found him on Schrodinger's channel. He'd been on a few panels on there, so I checked him out. He's got some good stuff. He doesn't put out as much content as he used to, uh, but he, he's well worth uh, subbing to and watching. Uh, let me see. John Juan Galt. Uh, there's just so many of them. Real World Police. Uh, Friday International. He's mostly Jeremy DeWitt stuff, if you're into that. Vilified Freedom, uh, Pirate Lab Studios. There's, there's just there's just so many channels on here. But anyway, that's just a shout out to a few of them. Uh, 
I don't know how interesting this content actually is, but uh, that's what I do. Just thought I'd do something a little different this morning because I really can't pay attention to these morons uh, that do First Amendment auditors today. I just can't get into doing one of their videos. They're just so annoying. Well, that was it. Uh, hope you enjoyed the content somewhat. It wasn't wasn't what I usually do, but uh, I thought I'd throw out a few people that I I check out some of the newer channels that are worth subbing to. Uh, I'm not worried about competition. It's not my thing. I just do what I do. They do what they do. We all do the same thing, but we all do it different. Uh, and a lot of us learned it from Schrodinger's cat, just watching his stuff and how he did videos and you know the way he acted, his personality, and all that. And uh, I hope Nicole is doing okay. His wife. I hope everything's going okay. And Winston, his son. Uh, He'll be sorely missed, but uh, his work will live on through us. That's why I threw that clip in there of the post office. That was one of my favorite deals that he ever did. Uh, anyway, I'm not too good with the emotional stuff and the grieving stuff. But I hope all goes well for his family. And, and uh, Anyway, uh, that's it. Y'all have a great day, people. Bye-bye.